आगे बढ़ते हैं छत्तीसगढ़ विधानसभा के शीतकालीन सत्र का आज दूसरा दिन है अनुपूरक बजट आज सीएम विष्णुदेव साय पेश करेंगे साल 2023-24 का दूसरा अनुपूरक बजट मुख्यमंत्री विष्णुदेव साय पेश करेंगे उसी के साथ आज राज्यपाल विश्वभूषण हरिचंदन का अभिभाषण भी होगा किसान नक्सली घटनाओं के मुद्दे पर सरकार को घेरते हुए कांग्रेस नजर आएगी तो छत्तीसगढ़ विधानसभा के आज दूसरे दिन की कार्यवाही है तो छत्तीसगढ़ विधानसभा के शीतकालीन सत्र का आज दूसरा दिन और राज्यपाल का अभिभाषण भी देखने को मिलेगा और साथ ही अनुपूरक बजट भी पेश करेंगे मुख्यमंत्री विष्णुदेव साय वहीं चरणदास महंत के नेतृत्व में कांग्रेस जो है वो घेरती हुई नजर आ सकती है राज्यपाल महोदय अपना अभिभाषण अंग्रेजी में पढ़ेंगे इस अभिभाषण का हिंदी अनुवाद मानी सदस्यों को खानेदार अलमारी में वितरित किया जाएगा ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स I warmly welcome and congratulate all the newly elected members in the inaugural session of 6th Chhattisgarh Legislative Assembly. The 6th Legislative Assembly of Chhattisgarh underwent a two-phase voting process on November 7 and. November 17, 2023, with the result declared on December 3, 2023, following the <coughs> vote count. First of all, congratulations to all, each of you, on your victory. I extend my greetings to you as the newly elected members. of the legislative assembly in this sacred temple of democracy i express my respect for our country's great constitution constitutional democratic values and exemplary tradition that have given me this opportunity to address you in this house today you have officially commenced your tenure as esteemed members of the 6th legislative assembly following the oath taking ceremony i extend my best wishes for a purposeful successful and service focused tenure in office I extend sincere congratulations to the Election Commission of India, the Chief Election Officer of Chhattisgarh, and the thousands of officers and employees who played 
a vital role in the successful conduct of the Legislative Assembly election in Chhattisgarh. The significant voter turnout in constituencies affected by Naxalism showcases the determined commitment of the rural and forest dwelling communities to protect their democracy. I hope that the steadfast trust in the welfare focused initiatives of my government continues to grow through our people's centric endeavors. You have all won your place in this assembly by winning the trust of the public and voters. I am confident that you will earnestly strive to fulfill the aspirations and expectations of the people. The owners of fulfilling your promises and ensuring the comprehensive development of Chhattisgarh rests on each of you. I believe that all honorable members, both from the ruling party and the opposition, will remain committed to fostering comradeship and a respectful relationship to enhance the dignity of this house. It is essential for both sides to collaborate and uphold the ideal parliamentary traditions to people the chariot of the state's development forward and to live up to the trust of the people. My government aims to construct paths of the prosperity and well-being for all regions, people of the state, working towards the upliftment of the standard of living with peace and goodwill, ensuring the constitutional rights for all and establishing the state as the leading entity in the country are goals <laughs> set before my government. There are still many people in the state who require special assistance for social and economic development. Scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, other backward classes, women, youth, farmers, forest dependents, rural communities, and individuals engaged in traditional occupations require an extra sensitive approach and the groups will continue to be a priority for my government. In line with the ideals and principles of Satishgarh's visionary, the Bharat Ratna, former Prime Minister, Mr. Atar Bihari Vajpayee, and the current Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, my government is dedicated to ushering in a new era of good governance in Chhattisgarh. I assure you that my government will implement the necessary measures to fulfill the promises made to the people. The promise to construct 18 lakh houses under the Prime Minister Vas Yojana was praised to the public during the first cabinet meeting. I am pleased 
that the decision to fulfill this commitment has been taken. This signifies a strong start to work of my government. My government is committed to, take, to taking appropriate steps to fulfill various promises made during the election. This includes assessment and decisions on issues like the payment of two-year pending bonuses for paddy procurement, farmers' welfare schemes, Sir, such as the PC Union Jojana, Dindaral, Upadhyay, Krusi Mazdur Kallan Jojana, Mahathri Bandana Jojana, per standard bag, increasing the bonus up to 4,500 and other initiatives mentioned in the election manifesto in a timely manner. My government has received unwavering trust from women and youth. And youth will be the top priority of my government to further strengthen this trust. In this regard, the government is committed to fulfilling the vacant government posts with a transparent and time-bound recruitment process, investigating of the PSC cases sympathetically, organizing all major examiners similar to the UPSC, providing monthly travel allowances for students, establishing Satishgarh Institute of व्यक्तित्व का विशालता है जिसके कारण से हमने सर्वानुमति रूप से आपका ये निर्वाचन संपन्न कराया छत्तीसगढ़ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन इस लोकसभा कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी ऑन द लाइन ऑफ आईआईटी दिस मेजर्स आर एम डॉट मेकिंग पॉजिटिव स्ट्राइड्स टुवर्ड Empowerment and development. I assure you that my government will work with full dedication for fulfilling the development goals and aspirations of the common people of the state. Every possible step will be taken to enhance the equality of life for all with a focus on service, good governance, security, and development. Once again, I congratulate all of you on your victory in the election and best wishes for success in the upcoming challenges and goals. Jai Hind! Jai Chhattisgarh!